In the race to curb climate change, one culprit stands out, responsible for one-sixth of U.S. climate pollution, gasoline. It's a ticking time bomb, threatening the very planet we call home. But there's hope on the horizon, and it starts with the people most dependent on gasoline, gasoline super users. Meet Pedro, a gasoline super user burning more than 100 gallons of gas a week. Pretty much about 60, 70% of my day is spent driving either to or from a job site. It, it gets really expensive. Pedro represents drivers in the top 10% for gasoline use. The average super user shells out more than $530 monthly on gasoline, a staggering 10% of their income. Now, picture this, electric vehicles as the game changer. Pedro and others like him could save big, $360 a month in fuel costs alone, plus hundreds more on maintenance. In fact, these savings could cover the monthly payment for a shiny new EV, trading a pricey polluter for a cleaner future. But it's not just about personal savings. A super user burns five times as much gas as other drivers. Switching super users to EVs first could slash our reliance on gasoline requiring fewer EVs to cut emissions in half. Super users are everyday people, but circumstances force them to clock in extra miles, often residing in rural areas and favoring larger, less fuel-efficient vehicles. New data can pinpoint these super users, guiding our efforts to accelerate change. To jumpstart this transition, we propose special incentives for super users, easing the burden of EV down payments. Education is key, helping them get familiar with EVs and grasp the immense savings. Converting super users to EVs slashes pollution, reduces gasoline dependence, and alleviates the financial strain on gasoline-burdened families. The road to a sustainable future starts with Pedro and others like him, steering towards a cleaner, greener tomorrow.